My name is Annika Wooten and I am Miss Kingman County and I am 23 years old. I have been an artist ever since I could hold a crayon. When they asked me in kindergarten what I wanted to be when I grew up, it was artist. And if you ask me today, it's still an artist. I know how much art can be integrated into businesses like Google or Uber or Yahoo. So many businesses need those creative and innovative thinkers and those kind of skills comes from the art classroom. Earlier this year, I contacted the Kansas Alliance for the Arts and Education because I was looking for ways to get more involved in my arts community. And instead of just saying that I could show up to an event and help them out, they asked me to be a board member. I'm the youngest board member of the Kansas Alliance for the Arts and Education, and I was able to travel to Washington, D.C. with them to advocate for my platform, The Artist Fingerprint, Cultivating Creativity Through Engagement and Investment in the Arts. We met up with Americans for the Arts and did a whole summit about education and learning, about talking points that we could do when we went and talked to our representatives on Capitol Hill the next day. My love for art started in the classroom and was cultivated in the classroom. I remember in elementary school, Miss Bryant gave me extra books on Georgia O'Keeffe and asked me to do a mural in the teacher's lounge. And I thought I was the coolest kid on campus. In middle school, Mr. D taught me how to roll tape so that my artwork wouldn't fall off the wall. In high school, it was Keith and Kenji, actually in the theater, that saw my, my talent. They asked me one day if I wanted to do a live painting. They completely started this whole speed painting thing that I've done. I've been featured on Mike.com and in the New York Magazine and have traveled across the country doing over 50 individual unique speed paintings for various events and organizations. And it's because of the people who invested in me, saw my talent, and pushed my spark that I'm able to be where I am today and consider myself pretty successful.